Hi, I'm Robert from Our Michael Artist. I'm showing you a painting here from Robert Doulanet, a French painter who specialized in what we would call Orphism. And what it is is that Orphism is sort of, in his ideas, high saturated and very colorful. As you can see here, this is one of many, many paintings that are almost virtually the same of the Eiffel Tower. So this is called Eiffel Tower, as well as the other ones that look similar. You can see the whole idea behind how it's being uh, transitioning from one color. You can see different variations of, you know, the blues here, here, and here. Um, there was a really lot of uh, technique with this. Uh, in, in actual, the actual original is uh, very much larger than this. I just compacted this down. Uh, many of my customers like smaller paintings, and so this one will be framed. But in this case, at this point, um, you can just see the beauty. Uh, I personally love the Eiffel Tower, uh, and as a result, I have painted many Eiffel Towers, usually from Robert Doulanet. And uh, but uh, this really does have a, a very nice look, and you can see the structure symbolizing going all the way to the top, stopping at the top, almost gradually not seeing any one position, except the focal point of what the main part of the tower looks like. And this was painted in 1926. And you can see, in fact, if you look at photos today, um, which I want to mention right now, is I, I think it might be interesting how in 1926, how do you think they, uh, Doulanet may have saw the Eiffel Tower in this direction? Um, were they flying airplanes? Yeah, but uh, would he have actually taken a photo of this? Possibly. But I somehow think that maybe um, this might have been imaginable. Who knows if he may have done it in a hot air balloon. Who knows? In any case, it's, it's sort of bunched together. This actually does exist today. This thing as you would walk underneath the uh, part of the Eiffel Tower. This actually also exists. This actually what, uh, what that would have been is sort of a walkway. Whereas today, you can actually um, walk along this. And I do believe that you can actually drive in this part. And, uh, and so you can actually see the walkways going through that. But you see the uh, abstraction of that. And he really did fragmented work with the Eiffel Tower. And it was my understanding that he actually would look out his window and paint the Eiffel Tower. Now, if you look today around the Eiffel Tower, it's like, where are these hotels? Where are these buildings close enough for Doulanet to uh, actually paint? Well, there were buildings that were close to the Eiffel Tower uh, during that time. And there are paintings that where he's looking out a window, which, you can, which he actually neatly did the drapery. And, uh, and you actually saw the fragmented part of, of the Eiffel Tower, which is a, a very, very beautiful uh, uh, original painting. So uh, the actual size, I believe, is 36 by 86. And again, I condensed it down, and you can see some of the richness of these colors. And I think that uh, it is a very enjoyable piece. So enjoy it.